Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and today we're going to have a look at some sorting algorithms. Now we're, not, we're going to do this uh, using some playing cards rather than uh, looking at some actual code and we're going to do it manually uh, and the first algorithm we're going to look at is bubble sort. Unfortunately bubble sort is probably the worst sorting algorithm uh, there is. Uh, you could probably come up with the worst one but it's, it's pretty bad. Um, but we're going to have a look at it because it's, it's really simple and uh, it, it's really easy to demonstrate with cards. So um, let's have a quick look at it. So I'm going to start by dealing out these cards. And this line of cards can represent our linked list or array or whatever that we want sorted. And what we're going to sort it. And basically how bubble sort works is we compare each pair of cards in turn. And if they're out of order, we swap them around. So this first two, they're out of order. So we swap them, and likewise, if these two are in order, so we leave them. And each time through, the largest card ends up being at the top, at the end. So the, the larger values bubble to the top, which kind of um, gives bubble sort its name. Uh, and we just go through again. So that's what in order, um, out of order, out of order, out of order, in order, in order. And we just keep doing it until everything is sorted. And there's our uh, sorted list or array or, or whatever. Well, it once was sorted. Now, there is a variation on bubble sort called shaker sort. I deal these cards out again with the ace on the end. In bubble sort, each time you go through, this ace would progress one card close to the beginning and would take a long time to get uh, in place to where it should be uh, sorted. So uh, shaker sort, basically uh, we go through the first time much like bubble sort, but on the way back, or rather than keep, we keep going the same way, we come back in the reverse direction. Ah. Okay, and then we go back again. And then back, and we're sorted. Now, this turns out to be more efficient when you've got the, the small numbers towards the end because they come back to the front. Um, much quicker. So that's um, that's shaker sort. So we go from both directions.